The most important condition when entering a position is determining the trend. As you can see in this example, the price kept moving up and down which made it hard to determine the trend, but the overall direction is upwards. If you draw a line from the two lowest points, you can see it going upwards. A solution to this is using a moving average indicator in order to decrease the noise in the market. I added a simple moving average indicator. In the indicator settings, the higher you set the length of the moving average, the less the fluctuation is. As I increase the length, the smoother and more accurate the trend becomes. The problem with the simple moving average is that it will take some time in order to update from an uptrend to a downtrend with higher length, which will defeat the purpose of using it. The solution to that is using a more advanced indicator like the whole suite indicator. To add it, click on the Indicators tab and search for Hall Suite. Click the Settings button on the Indicator menu. For the Input section, change the whole variation from HMA to EHMA and change the length to 200. Now you can see that the line shifts from green to red to indicate the trend direction. If it's red, that means we are in a downtrend. If it's green, it means that we are in uptrend. If we take a closer look into the indicator settings, we can see that decreasing the length will make it change more often which would help in indicating the trend for shorter periods of time. If we increase it back up to 300, it will give us a more accurate read on the overall direction for longer periods of time. We will stick with 200 for now. Another indicator that would help you in executing your trades is the chandelier exit indicator. To add the indicator, click on the indicators tab and search for chandelier exit. Since we are using the whole suite indicator for our trend analysis, we will not need the trend analysis from the chandelier indicator. Click on the indicator settings button for the style section uncheck the following options. Now let's head back to the input section. The ATR period is typically set by traders and can be adjusted based on their preference or the asset being analyzed. The most common period used for the ATR is 14 which calculates the average range of price movements over the past 14 periods. In our case, we will stick with 22 since it will match our trend analysis that we get from the whole suite indicator. Now let's take a look on how this strategy works with both indicators in place. But before we do that, if you are looking for a trade in signals chat with a very high success rate, be sure to check out our Telegram signals group chat. We provide multiple signals a week we have hundreds of traders that use our signals to increase their returns on trading. Link to the group chat is in the description box. In this strategy, there are a few ways to determine your stop loss and take profit targets. For the stop loss, we will usually target the latest swing high or swing low based on our entry. And for the take profit, we will aim at two times the risk or the nearest resistance or support level based on our entry. In this example, all our short position conditions are met. We will set the stop loss at the recent highest price and we will set the take profit at two times the risk. Now that you know how to manage your stop loss and take profit targets, we are ready to cover the strategy rules. We will start by covering the rules for long positions. Firstly, we need a buy signal to be issued by the chandelier exit indicator Secondly, we need the whole suite line to be colored in green and the price has to be trading above it. In this example, the whole suite line is colored in green and the price is trading above it. We also have a buy signal issued by the chandelier exit indicator. So all our long position conditions are met. We enter a long position. We will set the stop loss at the recent lowest price and set the take profit target at two times the risk. The trade was a success. Now we will cover the rules for short position. The rules for short positions are similar to the long position rules. First, we need a sell signal to be issued by the chandelier exit indicator. We need the whole sweet line to be colored in red and the price has to be trading under. Here we have an opportunity to enter a short position. The whole sweet line is colored in red and the price is trading under it. We also have a sell signal from the chandelier exit indicator, so we enter a short position. We will set the stop loss at the recent highest price and set the take profit target at two times the risk.
I back tested the strategy 100 times and the results are amazing. I was able to find those setups within a three month period, achieving a 74 win rate. My account size increased by 977%, which is just crazy. I had 74 wins and 26 losses with a profit factor of 5.69. I also had nine consecutive wins against three consecutive losses with a maximum drawdown of 3.96%. My account started with $1,000 and now it has $9,700. This just goes to show how profitable this trading strategy is. If you do not want to waste time looking at charts every day, make sure to check out our Telegram Signals group chat. Our signals are provided with take profit and stop loss targets, so you do not have to do anything beside entering the trade. Link to the chat is in the description.